So you may not know me, but sometimes words from a stranger comes in handy and you might use it. Let me say something quickly and explain it to you. You've probably heard this a few times before, but not like this. It's not your fault. In fact, it was never your fault. Here's why. This is a porcupine quill. You know, I love to go on game drives and amongst looking for the big five and, and all the other fauna and flora around, I always keep a special eye out for one of these lying on the road. To me, it's a special find. It, um, it showcases defense. So a porcupine quill, if you don't know, not like those hedgehogs that shoot their quills out. Porcupines bunch together, the whole bunch of these quills, and they reverse ram into their prey. They protect themselves with these quills. This is their defense system. And so I love picking these up because something may have happened and I've got the evidence of it. But as we were driving around the one day, I came across a patch with quite a lot. Quite a lot of defense. Quite a lot of protection that may have gone a bit wrong. Right? So I asked the ranger, I said, do they shed, do they molt? Like, what's up with these? And he says, no, that was a, a leopard attack. And so I stumbled upon a porcupine fight that lost it to a leopard because the leopard is well-versed and trained to get past the defenses of the porcupine. Like your defenses in your life. You've got them up, you've got them surrounded and covered. Your friends have got your back. You build up those walls, but there will always be a leopard out there who knows how to get through your defenses and how to rip you apart. Who knows how to bring you down and take you down. Who knows how to throw a stumbling block into your projects, into your workplace plan, into your family life, into your friend circle. It is not your fault. People out there learn how to break down defenses. You need to learn how to cope with that and move on because it's not your fault.